Guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Rob, that's my Falcon, that's my engine. And today I wanted to show you how I took one step forward and a pretty big step backwards on this stuff right here. It's pretty bad. Stop, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, need your help, thanks. Ah! All right, check this out, guys. Okay, so this is the mess that I'm working with right now. This is uh, my push rod length check tool that I made. So I've got the push rod length figured out, and these are my crane roller rockers. They're doing great. I've got checker springs in here, um, and they work just fine. My problem is that looks good right there, but when I roll the cam up, or when I roll the, the pistons up, I do not get this. Let me, uh, let me just roll the engine over and I'll show you what the problem is. Okay, so right here I've got the cam rotated about uh, a couple degrees uh, after top mid center, um, but you can see by pushing down on the valve spring, I've got zero piston to valve clearance. The pistons are solidly contacting the valves. So that's clearly not gonna work. I've even tried to uh, retard the cam timing four degrees. Uh, this is a B303 cam, so it has five degrees advanced. And I figured if I retarded it four degrees, I'd still, it'd be running one degree advanced. So, um, turn around you. So uh, that's that, that was gonna be my fix. It's, it doesn't work. I've got no choice but to modify the pistons or run a different cylinder head and I've got, there's nothing wrong with these heads. The problem was my, my piston choice and I had these old flat top TRW pistons. They're forged pistons, they're in great shape and uh, to save four or 500 bucks, I chose to run them and uh, these are the consequences I get for making that decision. Let me pull the head off and, and show you what we're working with. All right, I got the heads off and if you look right in this area here, you can kind of see where the pistons kiss the valves just right in that area and right over there. So flat tops on these 194 heads aren't gonna work. So what I need to do is I need to clearance this area here to uh, give myself some more room. There's uh, a couple ways you can do this. You can take the pistons out, put them on the mill over there and fly cut them. I don't wanna do that. I, I've, I just got this motor together. I don't wanna take it apart again. And um, I can make it work without doing that. Let me show you what, uh, what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the plan for this, what I'm gonna do is, I went through, uh, I got a big bucket of drill rod stuff. I went through and I found a drill rod size that fits the, uh, the guide, the valve guide, and I'm gonna make a tool to notch that. So it's a letter R uh, drill guide, which is like 339 thousandths, I believe, if my memory is serving me. And uh, what I did is I got onto McMaster car and I ordered a three foot length of the stuff. It's super cheap and it's like eight bucks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a tool with a collar that's gonna have an adjustable depth stop. And then I'm going to weld onto it a, a disc, a flat disc here. And I'm gonna use an 80 grit or something around that area. And I'm gonna use the cylinder head as basically a fixture and run a vacuum through the exhaust port, tape everything up so I don't get uh, any, any uh, shavings or anything down into the engine and uh, I'm gonna clearance those things. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna clearance it with this, uh, with this tool that I'm gonna make. So uh, I'm kinda dead in the water on this right now, so that's, that's gonna slow me down. But I got some other things that I can do to this car to keep me busy. Let's look at those. Okay, this is where we left this. So this is familiar, everybody's seen this. But what I can do is I can pull the paint off of that rack and I want to repaint it. And I've also got other suspension components up here that need, uh, need painting. So I'm going to start working on all these. The spindles are good. The control arms, they're painted, but I'm not super happy with them. And I, I welded this gusset on there, so I got to go over that. So I'm going to pull all the suspension. And I guess my first priority is I'm just going to put the suspension back under the car. And then we'll have a roller. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll keep me busy with stuff to do on the car in the meanwhile. So 
Uh, long story short, I'm dead in the water on this motor until I get that tool made and those pistons ground down. So one step forward, a big giant step backwards. This motor, not so much the car, but this motor has fought me every step of the way. And it's probably what I get for building it out of leftover parts and pieces. Uh, I've got more than enough in this engine right now to have just bought one. But uh, I mean, here's what it is, right? So Yep, uh, we'll, we'll do that and stay tuned to see kind of what that looks like with uh, the tool and hopefully it works well.